What's up guys, Itchy here. Today I am going to be teaching you how to get the recording app that I've been using. I've been getting a lot of questions lately from people wondering exactly which recording app I'm using and how to get it. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you exactly how to get it. So the first thing you're going to want to do here, you're going to want to go down to Safari and you're going to want to search for MU4 iOS. You can see it up there in the top middle. And what you're going to get here is you're going to get a nice little website that has all kinds of cool little apps in it. You can actually get some Game Boy Advance, uh, Gear Boy, all kinds of cool stuff, emulators and whatnot. But the one you're going to look for here is Record My Screen. That is the one that I use. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit install and it's going to prompt you with a message and it's going to ask you to change the date before you actually install or maybe it will be after I don't really remember might be during the installation but what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here and you're gonna come into settings and you're gonna go into general and then you're going to go to date and time and you're going to actually turn offset automatically and you're going to change the set date and time to any time in 2012 as you can see there I have my date set to 2012 and what this will do is it'll allow you to do it so that the uh, app will actually uh, download onto your phone. So once the app is downloaded, then you will be able to record. The one thing you need to know about recording, when you are done recording with this app, you are going to want to hit stop and you're going to see the time stand still and it'll tell you how long your video is, but then you're going to have to wait and let the video finish. What that's going to do is it's going to actually save the video file, but it's going to have to finish completely. You're going to wait for it to stay ready again. The reason being is if you do not, when you come in here into recordings, as you can see, it will split your it will split your movie into separate files. It'll have an audio file, it'll have an MP4 file, and it'll have a movie file. And what that'll do is that'll actually make it so that when you're trying to record, you will not have the full video. So you want to make sure that you wait for that to finish completely. Otherwise, you're going to have split files. And also, if you go over here into settings, you're going to see that you have the video size. You're going to want to set that to half so that you don't have any crashing problems. And then also, you're going to want to turn on record audio. And I believe the sample rate is already set to the highest. So just something to keep in mind when you're actually doing this. And that way, you will be able to do that. And also, when you're saving the video file, as you'll see here, I can go in here and let's see. I can save the camera roll. Once you do that, you're going to leave it on this screen for a while so that it doesn't save multiple files or anything like that, or it actually gets a chance to save the file. Might just be superstitious, I don't know if that's actually true, but it seems to work best if you leave it there until the video is actually done saving. So just something to keep in mind for that too. Well guys, that pretty much does it for this video, and this is the app, so don't forget, it's called Record My Screen, go Google MU4 iOS, and you will be able to get this. Take it easy.